This video will walk you through a few simple ways to connect Wi-Fi devices to your Netgear router. To begin, some routers have dual or tri-band technology supporting a 2.4 GHz span and additional 5 GHz bands for your devices to connect to, each having their own strengths. While the 2.4 GHz band offers superior coverage, it is more prone to Wi-Fi interference. On the other hand, 5 GHz bands offer faster speeds and a more consistent connection but tend to be limited in range. If you're using your device for activities like streaming and gaming and are within range of the 5 GHz network, we recommend connecting your device to this band. The most common way to connect Wi-Fi enabled devices to a router's network is by using the network name, also known as the SSID, and the password. On your device, open your Wi-Fi network settings. This interface may be different depending on the device and operating system that you're using. Next, look for the list of available Wi-Fi networks and find the one you wish to connect to. Use the pre-configured network settings printed on the bottom of your Netgear router. If you've previously changed your network settings, you will need to log in using this information. If you cannot locate this information or you wish to retrieve your SSID and password, you will need to connect to your network using wired connection. To do this, plug one end of an Ethernet cable into your computer and the other into one of the LAN ports on the back of your router. Once a wired connection has been made, open a web browser and navigate to routerlogin.net. The default username for this page is admin and the password is password. Then navigate to the wireless tab to view or change your network settings. If you choose to change your network name and password, we recommend saving that information for future reference. Another simple way to connect your Netgear router is through WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup. Many Netgear routers have a WPS button, though the shape and size may differ depending on the router. Not all devices support WPS, therefore, we recommend referencing your device's user manual to confirm WPS support. When connecting a device with its own WPS button such as a range extender, first, bring the device within 3 meters of your router. Then, press the WPS button on your router and your device for at least 5 seconds or until the LEDs begin to blink. The connection can take some time to complete and the WPS LEDs will stop blinking once a connection has been made. Some devices such as laptops and tablets do not have a WPS button but can still be connected through WPS. To do this, bring your device within 3 meters of your router and open the Wi-Fi network settings. Locate your router's Wi-Fi network and connect to it. When prompted for WPS setup, hold the WPS button on your router for 5 seconds or until your device begins to connect. If your Wi-Fi device does not suggest WPS login, you may need to connect using your router's SSID and password. Navigate to support.netgear.com to find additional information on troubleshooting your Netgear router. 